Good morning, folks. Uh, this video is a reaction to a post that I saw on this a Facebook page, but it's on the Southport Weekenders um, group. Now, um, there's a number of reasons why I'm making this video today. One, I want to save the link so I could always respond to this post in a number of ways. And because um, this, with the Southport uh, Facebook page, they have to approve your post before they allow it to show. Now, even though I, re I gave a response, um, I'm not too sure if they'll approve it. I mean, I didn't say anything inflammatory or anything derogatory, overtly overt of, uh, derogatory about anyone as such. I, I expressed my opinion. Um, I'm speaking the truth. I mean, it is the truth. But um, I don't know, just in case, just in case they don't approve it. This is my other way around it. So for most of you watching this, you won't know what the hell I'm talking about because most of you wouldn't have been to a, a Southport weekender. So, it, you know, I don't expect this video is going to get many views. And secondly, it's a brand new channel because I've uploaded, I've upgraded my phone. So the YouTube channel I am um making this video on is a brand new channel so uh, it's going to be a microscopic channel but like i said the purpose for this video is for me to use this video elsewhere right so that's the waffle taken care of now southport i am speaking to you direct now those of you who um who's been to the festivals and the southport weekend there uh, which was recently held at butlins in bognor regions now in regards to that post about the older folks being able to party just as hard as the younger folks, my response to that post in particular was I was surprisingly disappointed in the Southport experience, be it the festivals and the weekenders. Even though I'm surprisingly dis disappointed, I will be going again because to be honest with you, nowhere else is going to be playing the sort of music that's played at Southport because an old boogie boy like me who likes to get down hard and funky is probably the best bet for me. Anyway, that still doesn't take away my slight disappointment in the actual atmosphere of the place. And I, I, I should explain why. Back in my day, I'm 58 years old now, so I was 16, 1979, and I was uh, in my teens in the early 80s. The scene back then was everything was about being adventurous, unique, and energetic. Dancing was a huge part of the scene back then in the soul scene. It was, you know, having dance off was a really big deal. Um, being a skillful dancer was even a bigger deal because you know not only did it get you laid but it, it upped your street cred so that's the environment I've come from you know the, the more adventurous you dressed the cooler you were so we had the terminology back then was being a freak the more of a freak you were the, the more credibility you had right so that's the environment I came from so when I went to the, we, we fast forward some 40 odd years and why is this guy going around a corner like a, like he's driving a hearse with a coffin inside it? Anyway, so I, I, I sidetrack a bit. So we fast forward some 40 odd years and then I went to the Southport festivals just after the pandemic and I was quite shocked and disappointed. Same with the um, Southport weekender that was recently held at Butlins. Is what I found one, the so-called Southport message of being free to express yourself was lost on many of the people that went there. But like, I dressed quite adventurous, you shall see the clips after this video. And despite the Southport message of being free to express yourself, you had a lot of old fogies who looked at me with a confused look on their face and say, why is he dressed like that for? And then um, also, where I seem to um, confuse a lot of people is I have a very advanced ability in dancing. I am fitter than the average man, 
and my dance ability is way more advanced than the average person. So considering that Southport is based on a scene that is supposed to be funky and adventurous and freaky, I found that the attitude to my energetic dancing was somewhat disappointing because I thought they would understand the, the vibe and the environment that I came from, seeing that it was based on that. So to me, a lot of the people in Southport are very straight laced, very conservative, and very, very, very old fogey in their in their outlook. And um and as for the youngsters, well I give them a pass because they wasn't around back in the day to to know the the, the world that I came from. So I have to say, Southport, you know, as much as your, your music is really on point, but the crowd, they're not as, they're not as party as they may think they are. To me, in my eyes, they're really conservative and to a degree, many of them are bloody boring. So sorry, Southport, that's the truth, you know, and um, you'll see the footage at the end of this video as a comparison and you'll see why I'm saying that. Okay, so thank you very much. I still love I still love the Southport scene and I shall speak to I'm going through with restrictions so I need to pay attention at what I'm doing. Yeah I'm through that I'm through it I'm through it I'm through it. Anyway so back to you. Yeah so Southport I love the music and I still will be going to Southport, but you know, my opinions are my opinions. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, bye. <laughs> That's it. I'm 58 years old and here's an example of locking. Now pop it. Old school boogie. Breaking. 